Hey everyone, Apple here. Figured I'd do a little overview of a game called Ziggurat. So what is Ziggurat? Ziggurat is a first person dungeon crawler slash roguelike in which you go through each level, you find a boss at the end, and then you kill him to progress to the next level, and so on. In each level, when you start, you'll get a new weapon, which is a nice bonus, because usually when roguelikes happen, you always end up stuck with one weapon until later on. This one immediately gives you a second one, so you're not as stuck in the same weapon all the time, which really breaks up the monotony for me. In addition, you can have four different weapons at once, and each of those weapons have a secondary fire mode, which means you ha effectively have eight weapons, depending on how the secondary fires of some of them are, which is a really helpful thing and usually not something that a roguelike will do. It's usually uh, more restrictive than that, and I appreciate the way Ziggurat does this and giving you more options. Once you go through each room, you'll find some rooms have modifiers, for example, you might get pixelated graphics in a room. You might have a wet floor in one, which means your character will slide along and you have to jump to sort of stop sliding and stuff like that. That also helps for me. You have a wide variety of enemies to fight and they're all quite difficult usually. Sometimes they'll uh, surround you in smart ways and stuff like that. There are secret rooms for you to find within each level. If you can find them, I usually can't. So it's usually not a huge deal if you miss them, but it is always a nice bonus for you. There's rooms that you can just get more XP in. There's a trap room where you have to go through some traps in order to get a reward at the end, and stuff like that. For the most part, the combat is projectile based. You're gonna be shooting projectiles most of the time. So you'll get amulets sometimes, depending on how your luck is with the RNG in the game, because there is some RNG, but like I said, with the more diverse pool of weapons, it's not so much of an issue in this. But if you get an amulet, some of them will freeze enemies for a little bit, some others will deal damage immediately in an AoE around you, stuff like that. And just overall, I think this game does a really good job of really fixing what I have a lot of issues with roguelikes. Roguelikes will often take a really long time to get going, whereas Ziggurat I found at the start, while it does take a little bit of time to get going, it doesn't take nearly as long as a game like Binding of Isaac does, where oftentimes you'll end up just getting range ups or just basic stuff like that. This game actually gives you more options and just overall does it more appealing for my tastes. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave a little segment of video for you here so you can get a feel of what the gameplay is actually like without me talking over it, and then we'll continue from there. So what do I think about Ziggurat? Well, I think Ziggurat is a good game. Do I think it's a great game? No. There are some limitations to it, like 
like I said, it's it's a roguelike, so there's some RNG, and I don't generally like RNG, but I can tolerate it in this game. Sometimes the enemies will, like, box you in in a way that shouldn't happen. Like, for example, if you have some flying enemies and you run under one, sometimes if it, even if it looks like you should be able to go under it, you, you can't and you end up getting stuck there, which is sometimes frustrating, but it rarely happens, so that's okay. The level design of most of them, it's a randomly generated dungeon. So most of the floors feel similar to each other. Um, mostly what you'll notice is the rooms vary a little bit, but the overall theme and coloring and stuff like that tends to stay the same throughout. So there is that part to keep in mind. I don't have too much of a problem with it, but I bet some people will. But overall, I think it's a really good dungeon crawler slash roguelike that I think you should give a try, especially with the fact that as of today, uh, the 25th, uh, it's seven dollars Canadian on Steam, which I think is just a steal. I think it's a really good game for that price especially. Even at the regular price, which is only fifteen dollars, I still think it would be a good shot to go and uh, give it a shot. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Ziggurat. I think you should give it a go, especially at the sale price that's going on right now. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I don't know if it's a part of this Thanksgiving sales stuff or whatever, but either way, it's seven dollars right now, so I think you should go ahead and give it a go. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. Have a nice day. And I'll talk to you later.